Lesson 12.4c, Making a Quantitative Prediction. We can use proportional reasoning to make quantitative predictions and compare options in real-world situations. Quantitative data deals with quantities. How much money is in your pocket? How many people know how to swim? How many people like a new song? Remember, the conditions we use to calculate experimental probability and the subject of the prediction should match. If a city bus schedule shows 95% of the city buses are on time in one week, we can't use this data for a year. The schedule needs to account for rain, snow, or unusually large crowds all year. This was just for one week. So we can't use one week of data for an entire year. It should be a week for a week. We can't use data on t-shirt sales to predict pants sales. An online poll for a music site shows its polling results for a new song. If 510 people were surveyed at a music store, how many people can it predict will like the song based on the online poll? Is the music site's claim accurate if it claims 425 people liked the song? So the online poll showed that 84% liked the song and 16% said no, they don't like the song. And the online poll claims that this 84% is 425 people. Well, we know that they surveyed 510 at the music store. So here's the steps we're going to take. We're going to analyze the information. We're going to formulate a plan. We're going to solve it. And then we're going to justify and evaluate. So we analyze the information. We analyze the given information. The answer is a prediction for how many people out of 510 will like the song based on the online poll. Also, we need to tell whether the 425 people that say they like the song is enough to support the music site's claim. The online poll says 84% of the listeners liked the song and a music store surveyed 510 people. Now we're going to formulate a plan. We're going to use a proportion to calculate 84% of 510 people surveyed. Is it 425? Now we solve it. We had 84%, so that's 84 hundredths. We need to find x. We write it over the 510 people that were surveyed, and we think 100 times some number is equal to 510. That would be 5.1. We need to multiply the numerator by the same thing. We get 428 and 4 tenths x is equal to 428 and 4 tenths. Now the music store can predict that 428 out of 510 people will say they like the song based on the online poll. We can't have 4 tenths of a person, can we? Now we justify and evaluate. Since 428 is close to 425, the music store and the online poll show that about the same percent of people like the song. If the music store had surveyed a thousand people and 428 people said they liked the song, would it undermine or support the claim of the online poll? That one said 425. We write 428 over the thousand surveyed at the music store. It does not equal 84 percent, 84 hundredths. If we give this a denominator of 100, we would have to divide the 1,000 by 10 and divide the numerator by 10, we'd get 42 and 8 tenths, and that is not 84%. Undermine, well, that's a verb. It means make weaker or less effective. So if 1,000 people were polled instead of 510, the result would undermine the online polls claim. It would not support the online polls claim. Do you think it's easier to use a proportion or a percent equation to solve a probability problem? We should know how to use both methods, but use the method we find easiest. So remember, method one was using a proportion. We would write the percentage over 100. We would find the numerator x. For percent equation, 
we would write the percentage as a decimal and multiply it by the number of people surveyed to solve for x. I personally find the percent equation easier. You might find using a proportion easier. We can use experimental probability to make qualitative and quantitative predictions by solving a proportion or an equation. We can use a prediction to draw conclusions by comparing the prediction to additional data. We're finished with Module 12 and we're moving on to Module 13. We're going to be talking about theoretical probability. Knowing how to convert a percent to a fraction and decimal and the meaning of the vocabulary words will help you. Have a wonderful day and join me for the next module. Bye.